Welcome back! If you saw the title and you're still watching this, you're probably a weirdo, but so am I, so let's get started. I'm going to start with a brief background about the anime. Skip over this so you don't care because most of you probably won't make it through another 10 seconds of this video. This anime adaptation named Bobo Bo 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 had a manga before it was produced by Toei Animation. It ran for a whopping 76 episodes from November 8, 2003 all the way to October 29, 2005. It has a score of 7.48 on my anime list but its lighthearted and comical storyline was very popular. Written and illustrated by the manga artist Yoshio Sawai, it was serialized in the weekly Shonen Jump and is a shonen genre that focuses on adventure, parody, and surreal comedy. It starts like this. In the year 300X, the Maruhage Empire, ruled by the tyrannical ruler Zuru Zurulina IV, goes around villages and shaves people's heads and leaving their homes in ruins. But do not fret, the hero who stands up against this evil regime is the bizarre rebel bo 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 Say that three times in a row. I dare you. He is not alone in this fight against Baldy Bald the Fourth. This is the English name of the tyrant mentioned before. Alongside him is a normal teenage girl named Beauty, the smelly teen warrior Gasser, and Don Patch who is a sidekick who kind of looks like the sun. Together, they embark on their journey to fight the forces of the Chrome Dome Empire and along the way, they gain other allies. And I forgot to mention his superpower is that he can manipulate his nose hair as a weapon. And the name of his attack is called the True Fist of the Nose Hair. That's right, let that sink in. If you think the summary was dumb, you are correct. But this is a parody, so that is to be expected. I don't watch these kinds of anime a lot, so let us all dive into this pit together because if I suffer, so do all of you. Also, this will be based off the dub because that's the one I remember most. I don't think I can even go into the subbed version because I'm too afraid of what I am going to see. When I first watched this, I thought, okay, this isn't so bad, at least the girl is normal. Apparently she was the straight woman of the series, so it didn't matter too much. I had high hopes for the boy too, but he was also kind of weird. When I first saw them, I also shipped them together, probably because they were the only two who were in the same age group who were seemingly normal, and the other people were just a little bit too much. Beauty is the female heroine of the group and is the only other female character besides Torpedo Girl. Yes, there is a character in the shape of a torpedo, let's not focus on that. She is one of the few sane characters in the series. Thank god for that. But she also serves as a damsel in distress in the series. Often she would be the one to point out Bobo's odd behavior or other people's fighting style and behavior. She's the only one in the group who doesn't fight, but she still criticizes other people. <laughs> Gasser is the quiet but sensible teenage hero who admires our weird hero from the sidelines and always refers to Bobo with a polite manner. Although he is another sane character and occasionally speaks out against something completely stupid or annoying, he does occasionally join Bobo in his antics or acts oddly on his own. By now you have probably noticed that I am not calling the main character by his full name. Screw it, I am not dealing with that shit again. So Bobo and Don Patch is quite the duo. They're the comedy partners I did not expect because Don Patch has the body shape of a sun and Bobo is just freaking tall. They would be the ones to make the jokes and this catches their enemies off guard. Despite Don Patch's claim over screen time, I'm going to be serious and say that he is more of a side character than the hero. But the ongoing joke is that he is more of a side character even though he keeps calling himself the most important one. Bobobo is just straight up nonsensical, but is also considered to be insolent, silly, and unpredictable. Nonetheless, he is the main character and his powers raise a lot of questions like how did he get this power? Does his hair shrink and grow in his nose? Where does all the hair come from? And why does it close up shop at the most random times and not the others? And now, onto the side characters. We start with Jelly Jiggler, who is a literal jelly, soft thin, a man with a ice cream for a head, then Gakuman, who is a cute little villain, 
Torpedo Girl, who is a torpedo. And lastly, Hatenko, who looks normal but is a fanboy of Don Patch the Spiky Thing. I know I called him a son before, but I don't know anymore. Like, he looks like a son, but then he, he's spiky. Is he the son? I, I don't know what he's, he's supposed to look like. The comedy is everywhere, and there is no seriousness in this anime. The scenes always have the fight start out strong where it seems our heroes are winning. Then all of a sudden, something happens, and then the enemies have the upper hand? Here is when the chaos happens. A random joke is always woven into the fight, and the enemy is caught off guard. Although their plan is efficient, the jokes can be a little bit too much. I will never miss class. This series can definitely raise some eyebrows if it was aired today. The reason it was cancelled in the first place was that the scenes were too violent for Japanese parents and their complaints led to the show's cancellation. Even though the anime ended, the manga went on and its final chapter was published on July 2007. Personally, I have not read the manga at all, but if you like comedy, I would suggest you go check it out. Just google it, something will appear. I'm too afraid to even look at it when I have the dubbed version to look at. It is not your typical shonen series where characters fight one another. Don't worry, there is still some action, but it is used more as a framework for short skits and establish a chaotic energy that you cannot pull away from. Like, this little shit show makes me want to look away, but I just can't because of how much is going on. It is very common that this anime uses drag, where Bobo and Don Patch would dress up as women and make outrageous jokes, and sometimes the enemy or beauty would point out the flaw of the joke, and that snaps me out the moment when I'm just staring at the screen like, what the heck? It's basically like a series of crack videos made into a long ass anime series that you cannot escape from because it's so stupid that it's so good. While this is not something I typically watch, I made this video hoping to see if other people have heard of it and wonder the same thing as me. That is, how did I end up in this part of the internet? It is definitely not the weirdest or the craziest thing I have ever seen. I mean, there are other shows that are just really freaky or just doesn't make sense. And I mean, they are just so damn weird sometimes. But I'm just wondering why it was able to last over 70 plus episodes without long fillers. Like, the typical shonen always have some kind of filler and it's kind of the staple of the shonen genre nowadays. Yes, I am looking at you, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach, every freaking shonen that is available in the 2000s. <laughs> like, why? Like, One Piece, like there is 1000 episodes, is a plot even there anymore? Sorry One Piece fans, this series started in 1999 and it's 2022 and it is still nowhere even close to the middle. Like, what the hell? Look, you can say that I have no say because I don't watch this series, but I would like to know how it ends <laughs> or what the hell is even gonna happen. But back to the Bobo Bo series. Personally, I have no words for it, but I can see the appeal of it. You can go into any episode and get a good laugh out of it as ridiculous as it seems. So my final verdict for the series is watch an episode, try it out. It may not have been good for me, but for someone else, it can. That's the perk of watching anime anyways. So has anyone ever watched this or seen clips of it? It is an older series, but you can definitely find it somewhere. Tell me whether you're gonna watch it or not. So until my next one, I will see you all. Bye!